<laughs> All right, I'm finally here at the Broom 500. My boss promised us that whoever sold the most good mittens spark plugs would get to enter the Broom 500. And of course, it was yours truly who won the competition. I mean, I may have taken sales with some of my co-workers and unplugged their computers when they weren't looking, but in the end, I always win. Now, the race officials told me that I would have my own crew chief here to help me with the mechanical side of things. So why is he keeping me waiting? Actually, I'm the one that's been waiting on you. Where did you come from? And how long have you been here? Just a few minutes. Long enough to hear how you sneakily climbed to the top of your company in order to win entry into the room 500. That's right. I'll do just about anything to win. The name is Vic. That's short for Victor, but that should be easy for you to remember, because VICTORY starts with me. Wow, you really like to win, don't you? Well, my name is Screech, and I'm the professional crew chief that has been assigned to you. Maybe someday I'll get to be a racer like you, but for now I'm happy to help you with anything you'd like. Great to meet you, Screech, but let's be real. I've worked at a spark plug company for several years now, so we both know I ain't gonna be the professional around here. So why don't you just take a back seat while I lead us to the greatest victory of all time. Since you're so confident, I'm sure you know all of the prizes that you win for winning the, the Room 500. Of course I do. There's the giant trophy, which I've already made a place for on my wall. Then there's the $10 million cash prize. I already know what I'm gonna spend it on. And of course, the Good Loves Spark Plug Company gets to sponsor a new race team. Seems like you're ready to go. Oh, I am. I didn't beat my 352 other co-workers in order to get to the Room 500 and just stand around. So let's go Room! Well, since this is a new race for you, there are probably some things you need to know. I was a little surprised to find out some of this information, so I'd like to make sure I update you on everything. You're right. There are a lot of things a racer needs to know before a new race. For example, how many laps will I have to do before I get to the finish line? How many other racers will there be? Is there a special section in the sands for all my fans so they can get the best view of me winning the race? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Vic. You gotta slow down. These questions take time to answer. You can't just rush through them. Well, I don't have time. I've gotta get out to the racetrack. Okay, but I think there's something I should tell you first. Also, I wanna know how big the Good Loves logo is on my car. Because I want it to be big enough for everybody to see it. Also, where's my lunch? And how many racers will buy me race car games? Will I be on the inside or the outside lane? And what is that? You mean the engine? No, not that. <coughs> oh, you mean the spark plugs? <sighs> Barely even deserve to be called spark plugs. You should know that I can't race with any old spark plugs. I have to have Goodlove spark plugs. Because Goodlove's products is the only is a very good thing, and I never go anywhere without them. So, good thing I have spare. So that I'll be able to change them out for the Good Love product. That wouldn't be a good idea, Vic. There's a reason those aren't Good Love spark plugs. You see, look Screech, whatever your reason is, it's not good enough. I can't trust any new kind of spark plug. Now, I've got to replace these despicable things and then get out there on the racetrack. Vic, I really need you to hear me and stop cutting me off. Do not put those spark plugs in my engine. You really need to know that... Look, Vic, whatever your reason is, whatever it is, I don't have time for what you're saying. I have a race to win. Now, just have to take out these old spark plugs. I, I wouldn't do that. And here we go. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? And why didn't the spark plugs go in there? Oh man. That's what I was trying to tell you, Vic. You see, the reason those spark plugs wouldn't work in that engine is because it's a lawnmower engine. A lawnmower engine? Why do you have me mess around with a lawnmower engine when it's not even my race car's engine? <laughs> What kind of crew chief are you anyways? The kind of is trying to get you ready for the race. That's what I was telling, trying to tell you earlier. 
You're not racing race cars tomorrow, you're racing a lawnmower. <laughs> I'm racing what? But I'm here at the Room 500, the ultimate race car race. That's true, but you don't race a race car until the final race. You have three other races to do before then. The first of the races is the lawnmower race. That's what you're doing tomorrow. You mean I have to wait to race a real race car? What kind of race is this anyway? I was trying to tell you that, but you kept interrupting me. I'm supposed to be here to help you, but I can only do that if you let me. When you aren't patient or kind, it makes me feel like you don't want me around or want to hear what I have to say. Oh, whatever. So when do we find out what else we're racing in these other races? You don't find out until the day before the race. That's the Room 500 rule. But I don't like waiting! Can't they just trust that I'm going to win the rest of the races and just let me race the super cool race cars? Look, it kind of came as news to me too. I thought we were going to be racing race cars, but we're both going to have to be patient and work together. Can you do that? I guess I can. Great! And the first thing we need to do is find a new socket for those spark plugs, because you fried them. And then we're going to go take the lawnmower for a spin. I'll let you see what it's like to drive a real one. Oh, all right. Can we at least race to get the new sockets? You know what they say, a win a day keeps the doctors away. <laughs> now that we can do. But don't chalk it up as a win just yet. You don't know what kind of speed I've got in these appendages. All right, on your mark, get set, go! 